All right, everyone. Welcome to Fears to Fathom. This is a horror game, as you can see. It says there an episodic horror. We're gonna be playing episode one in this video. Um, I'm excited to play this game. I've heard a lot about this game. Um, I know a lot of other people have already played it on YouTube, but I don't care. I want to play it because I love horror games, and I've heard this is really, really good. So we're doing episode one. So let's just jump into it. You see, there's three right here. We're gonna play the first one today. So let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> July twelfth. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of the summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip. Which means, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel I'd have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up just about any time of the day. Though I did plan on fixing that. I relate. Alright. Oh, please, love God, shut that up. Space to get up. I woke up at around 8 after a nap that evening. Okay. I like this aesthetic. It's really nice. It's got like an old school aesthetic kind of feel to it. Uh, okay, so we set the desk. What is this mm. book? I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Okay. So I'm assuming I go to get food. Mom. Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14. I think I'm gonna take a little nap, probably order gonna order some pizza. Yeah. No need to order anything. I already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Yes, ma'am. Let's go check the fridge from some lasagna. I know it's pronounced lasagna. Shut up. There's the lasagna. Food was cold. Okay, do we do we put it in the oven or is there a microwave? We're putting it in the oven. Can't do anything else, it doesn't seem. That is so loud of an oven. What the hell is that thing going into nuclear fusion? What's happening right there? It's so loud. I'm smarter than that. I'm not leaving that on because that's just going to keep... That's going to have noise that's going to make sounds in the background. And I'm not going to be able to differentiate between the TV and what's actually in my house. I'm not an idiot. Food was heating up. It, it dinged, though. There we go. Food was already warm. I know. It dinged. Uh, do we put on a plate, maybe? She to throw. I don't want to throw my lasagna. Can I eat it? Like, how do I eat it? I don't... Can I put it? Whoa. I didn't mean to do that. I liked watching TV while I ate. Okay. Let's go watch TV while we eat, I guess. I hear cars and stuff going by outside. Let's sit on the couch. Watch some TV and eat some lasagna. <clears throat> you eating this whole thing by yourself? Like, damn. I already was feeling very secret for eating the food. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn that up. I don't trust that TV at all. Um, all right, let's go back to the kitchen, I suppose. I'm a Mason. Uh, hold up. Can't promise you may have plans on that. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up, bro. You gotta be at Jessica's tomorrow. My parents are for the night. Want to cover? Want to come over? We can play Mario Kart 2. I'll let you know. Okay, okay. So friends aren't coming over. I did not leave this open. I gotta go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and close that door. Thank you very much. That was never open. I never opened that door. I don't know why that was like that. I guess we go up and do our homework now. Am 
Why are you climbing this so slow? I'm sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Okay. Fine. Jesus. Jesus! What's happening? Yeah. Okay. Do the homework, I suppose. 12.38 a.m. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Okay, cool. Are we going to sleep now? It is almost midnight. I mean, it is past midnight. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Miss Paula this time. Okay. Uh, Sleepy time. Why am I hearing heartbeats? What's happening? 1.16 a.m. I got up to get some water. Oh, why? Why do you do this today? All right, let's go. I'm assuming it's in the fridge. Oh, I don't like the music. I guess I'll just yeah, I won't do that. All right. Why is the music crescendoing? Stop. Stop crescendoing. Jesus. Is that somebody outside the front door? Who's at the door? Are you there? No? Excuse me? I'm not opening that door, but I want to see if I can see him through the side. <laughs> Who are you? Get the hell away from my door, man. Call in the cops. You call the door and hide in your room. Do I hide in my room? Don't answer the door. I wasn't planning on it. Why am I walking so slowly? Am I crouched still? Oh. I wasn't planning on opening it. Stop, stop walking forward. What is happening? Uh, what's happening? What's with the music? I don't know if they're still at the front door, but I can't see it from here. Oh, I don't want to go in here. Okay, do I have like, we're under the bed? Oh, man. Can I just break a window to get in the house? What's happening? I'm not I'm not answering that door. I'm not answering it. I am not answering it. No, I'm not answering. I'm not answering it, man. Not happening. It's not going to happen. Uh. It's Paula at the door. Is it? Is it though? Do you hear her? It's Paula at the door. Mommy's so sorry, honey. Mom's sorry. Everything's gonna be all right. Uh. Oh yeah. They think. Okay. We're calling the cops. Okay. Um. Wait, can I crouch by? Can I like crouch by the fucking thing? They told me to crouch right there. Can I like sneak by the door? Oh my god, that was so loud in my ears, yo!
Okay, that was Fears to Fathom episode one, Home Alone. I don't know if there's any more endings. I got that one. That was so fucking loud in my ears. Holy shit, that was loud. All right, so evidently there is another ending to this um, that I saw. So I want to show you guys the whole game. So I'm going to show you guys the other ending as well. All right, let's get up and get the water. I kind of skipped through because it's the same stuff again. Going down, getting the lasagna, all that stuff. So we just get to the part where we go down and get water and the music decides to start crescendoing. Um... Yeah, I'm interested to see this ending. I know what you're supposed to do to achieve the ending. I don't know what the ending actually is. Wait, can I drink more? Alright. Now we go back upstairs. Mom texts us that there's somebody outside and to hide. Right before we go to bed, as we're getting here, text message, image, you there, who's that at the door? No idea who that is at the door, mom. You tell me who that is at the door, because I don't know. I'm not about to go down there, though. I'm going to instantly hide. So I'm underneath this thing. Hiding. Mom hasn't even told me to hide yet, but I'm hiding. I don't know if I'm supposed to maybe go downstairs to trigger this next part, so I'm gonna do that because I know this this doesn't matter. I should get a text message any second now from um, again, telling me to hide or whatever. There it is. Right, on the cops, you can lock every door and hide in the room. Doing that. Don't answer the door. I will not do that. So I'm hiding under here. Now the doorbell should start ringing. Mom's gonna say, that's Paula, please go, you should answer the door, go to the door, it's Paula. There's the window breaking. Doorbell should start in a second here. There it is. I'm not going yet. Mom's going to say it's Paula to go to the door. There it is. It's Paula at the door. Apparently what you're supposed to do now to get the other ending is instead of trying to crouch by the person in that room, when you walk out here and see the door open and see the shadow... Right there, you're supposed to turn right around and come and hide again. God damn the door. You're supposed to come back in here and hide again. And then you're supposed to wait and then the police show up, apparently. I'm not too sure. So I'm just gonna chill right here until until it gives me the other ending. Because that's apparently what you're supposed to do. I'm just going to hang out for a little while down here. Okay, you just heard the police. We, heard the, we hear the police. So now, the police just got here. The music changed. So now I think, a game by rail. See nobody in the window, in the door this time. We can actually come down here. And there's Paula. Hey, Paula, you look kind of creepy, but it's good to see you. That's a, apparently that's the true ending to the game. I was an idiot. I saw the crouch prompt and thought I was supposed to crouch by the person in the room and just got the crap scared out of me. So, yeah, apparently this is the true ending. Um, that was incredible though. The the atmosphere it puts you in, like it's a literal like it's not like a a monster that's chasing you. Or some kind of like, you know, 
make up made up like thing it's like a real thing like it's just a person who's trying to get in who's been like looking through all the windows and who just broke into your house and who was there i didn't want to go there but i thought show me crouch i thought i could crouch past them and get down the stairs to where she was at the door um i don't know if there's other any other endings to it but that was awesome i can't wait to play the other episodes that was incredible truly um, I really love that. I love horror games, and that was really, really good. Because it's not like a cheap horror game that just has a bunch of jump scares. It obviously has the one at the end. But it was just the atmosphere, the way that it built up to it. Everything was just kind of creepy and off-putting. But it wasn't, like, just straight scary. It just kind of kept you on edge the whole time. That was awesome. I love that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. I post pretty much every single day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.